Today I want to go over how we can use TensorFlow and machine learning to create a simple linear regression model. I've got some sample Excel data that we can use that simulates machine downtime and machine age. Let's jump right into the tutorial. The first thing we need to do is to look at the data that we're planning on using. I've got it all in an Excel file right here. So we just have machine age that goes up by month and then we have the mean time between failures. Our goal will be to create a linear model that represents how much time we have left between failures depending on the machine age. Since we know that the data is okay, let's jump over to a text editor and get started on our machine learning script. I'll use Atom for this tutorial, but feel free to use whatever you would like. Go ahead and create a new file. The first thing that we need to do is to import the packages that we're planning on using. Let's import TensorFlow as TF, import NumPy, import Pandas as PD, and then matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Go ahead and save your file. I'll call mine mlr.py. Next, let's go ahead and create a variable that will help us out later. rng equals numpy.random. Since we'll be using Excel data, we need to go ahead and load that into Python. Create a variable named spreadsheet. Name it after your spreadsheet. Mine is right here, so I'll just type in the name of my spreadsheet. Then to import that data, we need to use pandas. So data equals pd.read excel and then spreadsheet. Hopping back over to our spreadsheet, we need to get these two column names. Go ahead and copy the first one and we'll need to call this out of the spreadsheet. So months equals the name of the data frame, which we defined right here, and then that column heading and then dot values to get it as an array. We need to do the same thing with the second column as well. So mean time between failures equals data. We'll go copy this column and paste it in dot values. Next, we need to set the hyperparameters for a machine learning script. So the first thing that we need to define is the learning rate. So create a variable named learning rate and let's set this equal to 0 0.01. We need training epochs. This is just the number of times that the script will repeat itself looking for the best value. The learning rate is just a step size for each iteration. There's a lot that goes into setting a correct learning rate and if you're interested I'll make a video on it but for now let's just use this value. So training epochs let's say a thousand. Next let's set a parameter. The difference between a hyperparameter and a parameter is that a hyperparameter defines something that goes into the model. A parameter is just something that you use in the script. And then we're going to say display step is equal to 50. We'll see what this means later on in the script. Machine learning is broken up into two steps. First we need to train the model and then we need to test it to see how accurate it is. Let's get started in training ours. Drop down a few lines and type in train underscore x. Then we're going to say this is numpy dot as array and then this is going to be the x value. So we want this to be our months right here. Then we need to train a y value. So same thing, numpy.asArray, and then this is going to be the mean time between failures. Now we need to determine how long our data set is. We can do this by setting another variable of n samples, and then train x.shape. This is just saying what is the shape of this set. Since we know that this value is just an array, we know that this shape is also the length of the array. Next, drop down a few more lines and we're going to define some placeholders. So x equals tensorflow.placeholder and then we need to define the type of data that goes into this placeholder. We're going to use a float value for ours because these are numbers. So x as a placeholder with a float and then y is the same thing. So tf.placeholder float. Now we need to define some variables for our linear model. Go ahead and type in w as a TensorFlow variable. And then here is where we'll use the variable that we created earlier. So rng.randomn as a function. And then we'll name this as the weight. Now we want to do the same thing for another variable, b. This one will be the bias in our equation. So rng.randomn as a function. And then name bias. Now we'll need to create the linear model that we plan on using. Let's type in PRED as the variable name and then tf.add, tf.multiply, and then 
x multiplied with w and then add the bias of b. This is just a linear equation. Now we need to define the error that we want to minimize. Let's type in error as a variable and then tf.reduce sum tf.power pred minus y 2 and then we're going to divide this by 2 times the number of samples. This is a pretty typical error regression equation. Next we need to define the optimizer that we plan on using. Go ahead and type in optimizer equals tf.train.gradient descent optimizer. Pass in your learning rate as a keyword and then minimize the error function. Lastly, we need to initialize all the variables that we've created. Type in init equals tf.global variables initializer as a function. From here, we're just going to copy and paste in some code. I'll talk you through each line though, and I'll post this in the description that way you can follow along. So pasting it in, we see that we begin a session with TensorFlow as a session. Then in the session, we run the initializer. So we say all the variables are live. Now for each epoch, which is iteration, in the range of training epochs, which we defined, we train X and Y variables as a dictionary into the optimizer. Here is where the display step comes into play that we defined earlier. So at every 50 iteration of the training, it will give us the outputs. Once these are trained, it'll also plot these for us in a graph. But now let's say that we want to test the model to see how accurate it is. We can input some more data that I'll copy and paste now, and I'll post this in the description as well, that we can test against the model that we just created. Pasting in the last bit of code, we can see that our testing error is just going to be the equation that we defined and the reduction of the sum. This will give us how accurate our model is compared to this new data in the set. Go ahead and save your file, and then to run it, open up a new terminal. Type in Python3 and then the name of your script. So mine is ml.lr.py. Once we run the script, we see that I made a mistake in spelling placeholder. Go ahead and fix any errors that you have to and rerun the script. After waiting a few seconds, we should see an output. We see that every 50 epochs, our script is returning us our values that we expected. So it's returning us an error, a weight, and a bias for each one, and it's training a linear model for us. After a thousand epochs, we see that it returns a graph just like we expect, and it tries to fit the best line using regression. Also, it compares that line to the testing set that we provided. So we see that the testing set here is obviously not very good, but we can also check the error on this in our Python terminal. We see that the testing error is 1.58. And that's pretty much it. We've gone over how to use TensorFlow and machine learning to create a linear regression model from Excel data. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Until next time.